All right, so let's talk about debit credit rules. Big thing is I recommend everybody writing this out. If you've got your notebook, you've got a note card, keep this as a reference. This is, it makes it a lot easier than trying to memorize all of this. So what we've got here, it really breaks down the different types of accounts and how you would either increase or decrease debit or credit, right? So remember when we talked about T accounts, we talked about with the T account, we've got the debit side, which is the left side. The credit side is the right side. But depending on the type of the account, one side could be increase, the other decrease, or vice versa, right? So what this does, this helps us to keep track of that. So I've written this out for us. Um, so if we've got what we call an asset account, right? We've got an asset account. We increase that with a debit. So that's a plus. We decrease it, right, with a credit. So... For asset accounts, debits are increases, right, and credits are decreases. Now, on the flip side, on the flip side, when we look at a liability account, and you should keep track of which accounts fall under this accounting equation. We have a liability account. We increase that with a credit. We decrease that with a debit, right? It's the opposite. Now, revenue accounts are the same. So revenue, remember, uh, we've got that inflow, uh, recording the inflow, right, of cash, right, or, or accounts receivable. So we've got a credit, right, which is an increase, and we've got a debit, which is a decrease. So the credit is an increase, debit is decreased. Now for expenses, right, it's, it's flipped. So for expense, so when we have these expense accounts, right, we debit to increase it, and then we credit to decrease it. Same thing here, so think about uh, equity accounts. So when we have these, these equity accounts, we increase it with a credit, and we decrease it with a debit. So this is, we call this debit credit rules. This is a great tool uh, which can help uh, for reference so I recommend pause the video jot this down you can have this for your reference makes it easier when we're doing the problems especially with 